Hello everyone, if you want to know how you can fix this annoying windows activation error 0x803f7001 then you have come to the right place because in this video I'll show you how easy it is to fix that annoying error on your computer easily. First off, you want to open up the start menu and you're going to write a command. You want to right click on it and then you're going to click on to run as administrator. Click yes on here and here you're going to write slmgr minus rearm and you're going to press enter what this will do is this will restart your windows script host and once it's done it will ask you to restart your computer then you're going to go ahead and restart your computer and once you're done with the restart then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the start menu again you're going to write here run here you're going to write your reg edit click yes on here and then what you're going to do is you're going to go into HQ local machine here and then you're going to click onto this arrow right beside software and here you're going to scroll down until you find Microsoft you're going to click onto this arrow right beside Microsoft and then you're going to scroll down until you find Windows NT here so here it is you want to click onto this arrow right beside Windows NT Go into current version and here you're going to right click on product id and then you're going to click on to modify and you're going to put in the new product id here and when you put in your new product id then you're going to press ok on here and then you're going to close this menu up and now you're going to go ahead and restart your computer once again and once you're done with the restart now your windows will have been activated so there it is guys that's how easy it is to fix that annoying error of activation failed on windows 10 or windows 11 if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video peace